Hello and what is up my friends, it's Thunderbob here and tonight we're checking out another new game. This is Sky Ocean, Wings for Hire. And this is from developer Octio Studios. They were kind enough to send me a key to check this out. This just came out a couple of weeks ago on Steam. It's available as of October 10th for $24.99. And uh, I gotta say, uh, what really drew me to this is it reminds me a whole hell of a lot of Skies of Arcadia. Uh, which was a Dreamcast, and then there was a remake for the GameCube. In fact, let me just show you. This is my copy of Skies of Arcadia for the GameCube, and you can even see inside a receipt from when I bought it back in 04 for $19.99. This thing now goes for a couple hundred bucks. So, yeah, you could say I'm a fan of old-school JRPGs. Skies of Arcadia is one of those. I really enjoyed it back in the day. I kind of fell off the genre. Uh, they take a huge time commitment, and uh, I just don't have that much time anymore. I really have to be selective in what games I'm playing and really, really have to get my worth out of it. Um, and uh, most RPGs are just so long that I tend to skip over a lot of them. I, I mean, I've played some of the big ones, the Final Fantasies and things like that, but uh, it takes something kind of interesting to pull me in. And, and this one is really going for that vibe of Sky's Arcadia. Um, so. I'm going to check this out. We're only going to check out maybe the first 20 or 30 minutes of this, see what it's all about. And uh, if I do more, uh, if I play enough to actually give you a review, I'll do another video down the road. But let's let's do some initial impressions. Uh, I do want to just note, um, it looks like ultrawide is supported. I've got it set to 144, my monitor refresh rate. I got everything set to ultra. Um, yeah, and I'm using a controller here because it feels like this type of game, a controller is appropriate. And I think this is a mix of like ground combat and like flying combat from what I saw. Maybe even more flying combat. Hurry up, Glenn. They're almost here. Finally, they were away for three whole years. They're a ship. Something is wrong. That's not the Valiant. Isn't that a merchant ship? This isn't a good sign. Something must have happened. An air jet is coming. Just the scout? Oh, that's a single seater. Mom, where's Dad? Where are the others? Oh, I don't think Dad made it. Glenn, I'm so sorry. Is this one of Dad's bad jokes? Come on, Dad. Glenn? Glenn? Is your mom about to have, like, a heart attack? that dream again yeah the day my mother came back from the expedition it keeps coming back to me over and over what what time is it we're almost late for the mission briefing and still need to find mika and ren we better go yeah this feels like it could be like a dreamcast gamecube era repair kit Lack of voice acting, kind of disappointing, but, I mean, this is not a AAA game, it is definitely a budget indie game. Um, I gotta say, I looked, and it's got mixed reviews right now, most of the reviews say the game is fun, but it appears that there are some bugs. Now, that's what most of the, kind of, mixed reviews we're talking about. Your mom sure looks busy. Don't be talking about my mom. Morning, Mom. I can't believe how messy these numbers are. It'll take me another week to cross-check everything. Mom? Oh, it's you, Glenn. Hello, Fio. Long time no see. Hi. Oh my, what time is it? You pulled another all-nighter. Wait, it's today? Your last mission? I totally forgot. Could you be there later? Most parents will. I'll do my best, Glenn, but I'm way behind schedule with my work. I really need to have these documents fixed up by noon. But 
Now hurry, or you'll be late. Good to see you, Theo. Sorry to bother you. I'll bring something to eat later. Now, where was I? It totally feels like a traditional JRP opening, like uh, Chrono Trigger, and like you say goodbye to your mom. Or my favorite JRPG of all time is Earthbound. I love Earthbound. I I, I kind of want to do like a really in-depth review, but I feel kind of daunted because there's so many good ones out there, and I don't want to do it unless I can kind of add something to the conversation. But it's been on my like to-do list for years. It's probably my favorite Super NES game, maybe my favorite game of all time. But that game has like a really cool relationship with your parents where you can always go home and talk to your mom and you call your dad to save and to get money. While visiting towns or walkable areas, you can press the left stick to talk between walking and running. Okay, okay. You got like a traditional save slot, which is kind of cool, but also kind of like if I'm out and about and I got to go because my kid is yelling for me, I like to be able to save anywhere. So those windows are interesting. The reflections like don't line up at all, but that's okay. I can be a little bit more forgiving of kind of like weird graphical things when it comes to like an indie title. I guess it, it doesn't look bad. It's weird when I circle that way. Like, it, it, Okay, it feels like a Dreamcast game. Bad camera and all. <laughs> I don't know if they're going for that, but... Like, when you're near stuff, it gets a little... A little funky. I gotta say, I, I like the look of it. It's uh, definitely got a retro... GameCube. Like, not as far back as, like, Nintendo 64, but definitely, like, Dreamcast, GameCube... Very evocative of that Skies of Arcadia, which feels very much uh, inspired here. So I got a party menu. This is your shared inventory. Here you find your arsenal and your parts, as well as other possessions. Remember that arsenals can only be used while in combat, while parts must be installed or uninstalled in shops or inside your airship. I want to get in an airship already. I need to play. I, I didn't beat Skies of Arcadia. I, like, I got 20 or 30 hours into it, and I think I got stuck because I was playing it years and years ago. Uh, I should probably be following. It wants me to go this way, it looks like. Oh, there's also something over there. Okay, I need to get the stew and then get back for mom. Uh, but I got stuck at some point, and, um, like, I remember having fond memories of playing it. But I'd like to go back and actually finish that game someday. Alright, so I gotta come back in a few hours for the stew. Pair kit... Various recharge basic. I don't know what any of this stuff means yet. That's okay. The pop in is a. Uh, no one there. Someone there. I wish you like. I'm running this on a 3080 and 10, uh, 10,700K. Like pretty beefy system. It's getting a couple years old, but more than enough for this. I wish you could like. Draw distance to max. Because it, it, it does kind of take you out. So you got, you got a fetch quest here. And uh, I'm using the 8-Bito uh, Ultimate Controller. Uh works really well with this. He's got date plans. He really likes that girl. 
So I'm basically just trying to find all of my friends. Maybe up here. It kind of has a little bit of like a Wind Waker vibe to it too. I know that's a water island, not sky island, but... and storms may change as a foot. Will it be good or bad? Hard to say. The writing seems competent. Better than some of the writing from those Super Nintendo JRPGs. Some of those translations were... not great. Do I go through here now? I think this is like turn-based flying combat too. I, I don't think it's like a Star Fox kind of thing from what I saw. Why are you hiding here, Mr. Pillory? Don't let Micah find me. I came to see her, but I'm skipping work. I shouldn't be here. Caller was looking for you. You said something about a new machine. Oh, Caparats? I forgot about that. Thanks for telling me. Dad, he's always so worried about me. After what happened to Mom, he really wanted me to choose a safe life, you know? Stay away from the dangers of the mines. But I ended up choosing to be a pilot instead. Protect each other, you're not alone. But now it's time for us to start our last mission. Let's do this. Right. Let's save so I don't have to go through... Uh... Oh, they do have an auto-save. That's nice. So, if I... You won't lose much progress if you do have to fail. Hopefully. Smart auto-saves, hopefully. Your team is finally here. I thought you... I forgot about the test. Not in a million years. We're almost ready to start. Fred is having some issues. Could you help him? We can't start until it's sorted out. Let me know when everything's ready. Sure. Get some scrap and some areas, something or other. Music's pretty catchy too. I'm I'm digging the soundtrack. Not quite. Um, I mean, it. I, I I'm trying to think of the Skies of Arcadia soundtrack, but it feels like a soundtrack that could have come from that era for sure. Like when they started using uh, CDs and, and DVDs and filling them up with with the music tracks instead of using uh, MIDI. Sell a chest back here too. I think those are just uh, resources. All right, so I got the one thing I need to get. Arius crystals from the miners. This is totally like Final Fantasy games. They got crystals everywhere. I actually played through uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake a year ago? Maybe a year and a half ago? I haven't played through Rebirth yet. I I thought the remake was it was good in some ways and disappointing in others. Like, I almost would have preferred a more straight remake without all of the embellishments and like the new stuff they added. 
Uh, I felt most of it was just padding. And it kind of turned me off from jumping at a rebirth rate at release. Um, but I do plan on checking it out eventually. I just, it's like they turned the first eight hours of Final Fantasy VII into a 30 hour adventure, which, I don't know, just didn't quite work for me. Though the second one seems to have gotten pretty good, uh, pretty good reviews and, and people seem to like it. All right, pilots, Fred solved our issues. Gather around, let's start. As you know, JD is our last training mission. Your performance will decide whether you can become pilots. We're up to wait until next year. With the coming of age ceremony getting closer, we have no time to waste. Our airship, the Valiant, will take you to the training grounds. 50 clicks from Blossom. We'll be performing basic and advanced maneuvers under my guidance. This includes combat training. Combat of sorts. The tribe council has requested that we provide fresh meat for the festival. As part of your final exam, you'll therefore be hunting albatross. I don't like hunting, but roasted... Ali Abatros is so tasty. Any other resources you managed to find will count toward your pilot evaluation. Every year, a new generation of miners, farmers, traders, and pilots come of age, both as specialists and adults. The coming age festival is a celebration of both milestones. Becoming an adult signals the start of new responsibilities towards your tribe, your family, and yourselves. The tribe has high expectations for every one of you. Go forward, future defenders of Blossom. May the fifth wind. May the fifth winds travel with you all. Got five leadership points, whatever that means. Reach the training grounds. Alright, I can finally fly, I think. I think this was one thing that Skies of Arcadia was pretty unique about. I think there weren't a lot of like games with kind of free flying on the airship not that you could go everywhere but it was like a really unique um movement mechanic at the time like i can't think of i mean you had like an airship in what was it final fantasy six uh or three depending on where you're from um but it was definitely like a 2d top down like you didn't have kind of very much freedom i felt like this guy's look clear and beautiful today there are invisible air currents all around them. Destroy air jets. That's why we use airships rather than air jets. The Valiant is strong enough to withstand these currents. Your air jets aren't. Your stories of pilots who managed to survive these harsh conditions, but never leave the relative safety of the main island. Roger. A lot of transition screens. All right, listen up. Many generations pilots have honed their skills here at the training ground. You'll fly in pairs during the exam. Micah, Ren, you go together. All right. Go to point B to follow Mira's instructions. Bo, Glenn, I'll take you through your exam. Okay, watch your altitude and speeds. Okay, right trigger accelerate, left trigger brake, left stick rotate air jet. Rear view camera, right bumper, next air jet, left bumper, previous air jet, engage, interact. Okay. So, right trigger, go forward, left stick moves you around. If you hold it in, it like gives you a reverse angle, though it's kind of weird that it like looks around like that. It has like the reversed controls, which I'm not sure feel quite right. This is a little bit more Star Foxy than I was expecting. There's a thing over here. Yeah, I have like just straight up like a like an attack. For some reason, I was thinking it was turn-based, but I'm kind of intrigued by uh, the fact that it's not. I mean, presumably it's not. Because if I remember right, Skies of Arcadia, the there was some airship combat. This is this is like 15, 20 years ago that I played it last. And um, 
I thought that air combat was turn-based. Am I mistaken? It's been so long. I should have, like, popped it in. I've got my... Oh, well, I don't have my GameCube hooked up. I've got a Wii with the backwards compatibility. I bet I can shoot those crystals. Nope. I think your brakes are really effective. Did I miss one beacon? Great job. Now it's time for some hunting. See those pink crystals? Albatross loves to nest around them. Their mute will be one of the ingredients. Okay, and at least... Okay, okay, okay. Good luck. And then there's like parts just floating around too. Is there any, like, lock-on? Maybe it is turn-based. Sky Ocean's enemies declare their attacks at the beginning. Look at the enemy target icons on the top of each of your pilots to see what their plans are. Look at the turn order panel to see your actions. So select your different pilots and choose their actions. Attack physical weapons, arts, powered attacks that can either be offensive or defensive. Arsenal can... Symbol item shared among your party. Retreat, disengage. Okay. Each action has a speed indicator, which refers to how fast it will be executed when the execution phase begins. Once you assign actions to all your pilots, use X to confirm. So it's almost like it's turn-based. Almost feels like um, like a strategy game where you're assigning all of your attacks and then things happen. I don't know. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more description for what that is. And you got hit percentages, which, again, makes me feel a little bit more of like a turn-based strategy than a turn-based uh, RPG. I do love turn-based strategy games. Like, XCOM is uh, one of my favorites. And I played through Midnight Suns uh, last year and really enjoyed that. Okay, so it does tell you when you click on it, again, combat speed for 50% for three turns. So you got items you can use. Roger. The combat interface is interesting. Like, it it's pretty clear what's happening and like the Attacks and stuff look look nice. I've got I'm just gonna use the basics. <laughs> Full time. Ooh, she's she's pretty hurt, but I should be able to get in. This is the plan. I think I should be able to kill it before it attacks again. Because it's third on the Next. Victory! I gotta do that six more times. Do I heal in between? Can I Let's see? Uh, yeah, it looks like their health is full, so it must must heal between encounters. We got map here, arts, which looks like a skill tree. Nice, nice. Some. J I, some JRPs don't have a skill tree at all, especially the old school ones. And I feel like it's hard to play a game where you have no control over, like, what abilities, what skills. Like, uh, some of those games had different ways of interacting with the, with you know, with the world, like materia and things like that. But it's hard for me to get into a game these days. Yeah. So if you shoot it, it just starts the turn-based combat. It is hard for me to get into a game where you don't have any character customization. I like to be able to, uh... HP minus 10 and full damage for 30. Sure, let's try it. I've got this. So he's doing a cold attack. And she's doing something to increase her... And a mist! 
don't know, this is gonna have much positive effect, but we'll see. I feel like it might have been just better off attacking. I'm missing so much. Listen up, team. I've got this. We gotta knock that one out. Be able to get him this. Eh, maybe, maybe this time. If all the attacks land. Maybe not. Damn it. Yeah, we got it this time. Victory! I think I gotta do that what, one more time. Does it get advantage thing at the top? I'm not completely sure what triggered that. Like, remember, like Earthbound had something like that where if you attacked um, an enemy from behind, meaning like you walked into their backside instead of their front side, you would get to like have an extra attack. Kind of reminds me of that maybe. Steam page, and I see there was actually a patch on the 18th, October 18th, so just a couple of days ago. Oh no, are we really ready to become pilots? Uh, I wonder if that addressed some of the buggy things people were saying. I gotta fight Grandma? Piercing heat damage. Confirmed. I'm gonna look at everyone's arts. Physical defense down 50%. Permanent. That seems useful. Rock. So that makes her hit. Less of it, it actually hits her, maybe? Grandma! Might be hard to hit. Alright, so I got her weakened. See, it said miss, but it's, she still looked like she got electrocuted, didn't she? Yo, Grandma's gonna heal, that's not cool. Confirmed. Exactly. 
I do kind of wish there was a fast forward option. So she wants me to combine my arts. Listen up, team. And I can actually, I can pick who to apply that to. Roger. Roger. This is firepower. Okay, she's burning. And I boosted my first guy and main character's speed. Not sure what that does still. Burning. You know, as a kid, I think what drew me to JRPGs was the length of them because I didn't have a job and, you know, I would be... I might get two, three, four games a year, generally on holidays I'd get a game. So getting a game that lasted 50, 60, 80, 100 hours was actually like something that you were happy about and it meant you had a game to keep playing for the months between new games. For today, I see a 100-hour game and I'm like, I could play seven, you know, 10 to 15-hour games in that amount of time. And like, my backlog is so big. Sometimes I sort my games by how long to beat times, just to be like, okay, I could get through all these before I play through that one. But I, I've started to play some of the long like I did Red Dead Redemption 2 recently that was a 70 hour game uh, I'm going through Diablo 4 and it's expansion right now but I gotta be really into something that's that long to commit to it good job get that's your combat against Mira was thrilling we'll now announce the test results Theo pass Mika Pillory pass Ren Haas pass Glenn Wind Waker yeah. It'd be funny if she's like, fail. You're an idiot. So what does that mean? I got I got my driver's license. She's following me around. I'll probably be ending this pretty soon. Just looking for like a good stopping point. I wanted this first video just to be like the first 20, 30 minutes, get a feel for it. I was kind of hoping there'd be like some big dramatic thing that happens. Usually in RPGs, like your home gets destroyed, you get amnesia, some bullshit like that. But that's my girl. You need to stop running away from work, dad. Forget about that. Holler can manage things alone. Look at you. You're a pilot now. Your mom would be proud. Only she could see you. I know. Sad. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Congratulations. Don't go running away from home in one of those air jets now. I'd never do that. Not a bad outcome. Okay. Talk with Minerva about the albatross. I gotta get the stew for mom. I feel like I should get that stew. Mom was hungry. Why does it sound like I'm walking on metal? Did it sound like that before? I guess maybe this is all metal. Am I in like a, just a big airship? But I don't remember hearing that sound. the video that I just noticed that sound. See? Here sounds like grass. Now it sounds like grass. I think it was it was playing like the sound of it walking on the metal area, but like even though I wasn't on it anymore. Give me that stew. Alright. I got the stew. Find Mira. Give mom the stew. Thanks for coming, Glenn. 
Aiko is waiting. This might be a bit sudden, but the council wants to talk to you about Agnes. Could you leave us alone for a while, Mira? Of course. She's completely devoted to her work. It's like all that matters to her. After losing Edmund, she starts blocking out everything around her, even you. Yeah, which really sucks. People of Blossom understand her pain, but this cannot continue forever. Even if her current work is useful, we need her old self back. Agnes is a strong woman whose talents cannot be wasted. For her to help her, we need to understand what really happened during the expedition. You don't trust her? According to our tribe's rules, your parents were obligated to create all their findings. After all, it's the tribe that provides the funds, but this time she provided nothing. Everything was lost, including your own father. There is no further explanation, no more detail. Explorers experience as the Windwalkers. Such a dramatic accident is quite unusual. We have a lot of family members who died exploring. For the Windwalkers, accidents like this one aren't all that rare. With all the experience in the world, maybe if you convinced her to tell you what happened, or restricted her silence for three long years, you should do the same. Windwalker, the Windwalker family is an important pillar of our tribe. I've already lost her father. I won't sit idle while we lose your mom, too. Let's go give mom the soup and be like, Yo, did you kill dad? Okay. Why is it all me to go that way? Talk to Fred. Should I go home first? Is this the anniversary of of your dad's death? You're back. Grain gave us permission to go visit my dad. Ah, I see. You take some scouts who used our today's mission. They're fueled and ready to go. You're leaving now? Wait, I should go give mom the soup. No, I forgot to give mom. She's gonna go hungry. I thought his dad was dead. Did I miss him? Oh, is it his grave, maybe? It's his grave. This is kind of sad. And it hits close to home. I, uh, I lost both of my parents uh, two and a half years ago in the same week. Let's go talk to Mr. Romanto. I haven't seen him in a while. It's been long enough that it's a little easier to talk about, but uh, these kind of moments in games still get to me sometimes. Hello, my dear Glenn. I see you brought a friend this time. Good afternoon. Nice to see young people visiting. Barely anyone comes now. The basement? The basement. Did they just like drop them off the side of the island, I wonder? Bye! Bye, Felicia! Has your mom come lately? She has. She's done it alone. We used to come together. The last time was months ago. See, I don't really know what this is like in real life, because uh, my parents wanted to be cremated, so like... Their ashes are sitting on a mantle, mantle place, but like, I don't know what it's like to have a place to go to. In memory of Edmund Windwalker from his loving family, 800 to 842. Three years ago, my mom came back from the expedition. When she jumped out of the air jet alone, I knew my dad was gone. That's the dream I keep having over and over. At least you're there too, Theo. I remember that day. Trey had a hard time processing what just happened. I don't blame them. 22 crew members were lost, including my dad. Sky oceans are dangerous, aren't they? Yeah, the tribe has lost a lot of people. Micah was eight when she lost her mom. I was just a child when I lost my parents, or rather, they abandoned me. I can't even remember their faces. It's like a void I just can't fill. Sometimes I wish I could change that stupid dream even a little bit, so I could watch Dad come out of a scout, that silly smiley he'd had when he'd come home. 
I don't envy your memories, Glenn. But at least you got to know him, right? He was the coolest. What about your mom? Do you think she'll ever be your old self again? I don't know. I've been waiting and waiting for her to snap out of it. It's as if she's never returned from the expedition. Did you always, did you always want to be a pilot? That's a bit complicated. After the expedition, my mother told me the Windwalkers would stop being explorers. Really? After that, I never restarted my training. When I asked about my future becoming pilot, it felt natural to me. I just hope I made the right decision. I think you did. Now we can protect Blossom all together as a team. The tribe is the only family I have. No one will take my family away from me a second time. I feel the same way. Can we stay here a little longer? I like this view. So, late title, title card. I like that. That was nice. Like, can I finally give mom my stew? Sorry I was gone for three days. Here's your food. Couldn't make it to the hangar. When I got there, everyone was already gone. How was it? Did you graduate? Yeah, we all did. Excellent. Oh, is that the Pelter stew? Do you want to share it? We can celebrate. Now? Now you want to celebrate? Why not earlier? Why couldn't you have left those stupid books alone and turned up the hangers? How much longer will you keep doing this? Isolating yourself from me. From the tribe. I... Dad's gone. He isn't coming back. But I'm still here. Everyone is worried about you. Mira, Miss Kako, everyone. I'm sorry. So am I. What happened during the expedition, Mom? You've changed so much. Why? I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I'll go rest. I gotta say, the writing is actually quite impeccable. Like, I, it, it's just good. Like, it's not, I mean, it's not too melodramatic. It's not too, like, sometimes they use just way more words than they need to. Feels uh, like a good length, good writing. What would you say? Could see us today, Dad. You awake? I know these last few months, years have been hard for you. You know how much I loved your dad, but I also love you, Glenn. It's a bit late now, so can we talk tomorrow? It won't take long. I'll try to sleep. See you in the morning. Two years in a row. Two years. What is it now? The festival. I'm going to miss it again because the almighty chief Minerva needs more eyes. The festival is the only time of year where we can really eat as much as we want. Wait, did you hear that? We're going to get attacked, aren't we? This is what's going to send you on your mission. That's an airship, but we weren't expecting any new arrivals today. That's no merchant ship. Air jets? Sound the alarm. No time, get down! What was that? Explosions inside the town? Something bad's happening. I'm gonna be stopping this soon, but I gotta see what's happening here. I'm definitely digging this. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. We have to go see what's going on. People might be hurt. Let the guards take care of it. You have to stay here. What? I think I know what's happening. We have to leave. We can help the tribe better if we... Are you serious? The town's in danger. It'll be worse if we stay. Minerva, Fred, and the other pilots will protect them. Stay, please. No. Maybe you've given up on everything, but I haven't. I'm a pilot now. It's my duty. I have to go. By the winds. I need to report to the hangars. They are blowing up this town. I wonder what that crystal did. Is that where we got our power? Is it like some kind of protective thing? Save. I need like a sprint button. Like I'm already running, but it doesn't feel fast enough. 
This is urgent, bro. Pick up your pace. What are up? They're just like standing around. Damn it. Why is the Alliance attacking us? It makes no sense. We can't defend against the enemy forces as powerful as this one. Are we surrendering the town? I won't send our pilots to their death. You and the others tried to take off, but I told them the same thing. Where are they? Where are Infrared took them inside the Valiant to keep them safe. When the Alliance started back and they took off and escaped. I have to help them. Give me the scout. There's nothing we can do. The Council of Elders has already given the order to surrender. Don't give me that look. My priority is to save lives. The guards need to help at the gate. Nox is injured. Then get a stretcher and go help them. Mighty Wings. Mom? Agnes, what are you doing? I came to pick up my son. We're leaving. There's a whole fleet surrounding us. You won't make it. We'll see about that. Bye. See, every RPG has to start like this. Like, you slowly get introduced to people and concepts and the village, and then something happens. Your village gets attacked, you get kidnapped, you get amnesia, Some something dramatic happens. The battle is won. The defenders have sent messages surrendering artificially. What about the fleeing airship? It's a Class 2 freighter. Our forces are pursuing it. Incidentally, Lieutenant Muska detected two air jets trying to break the blockade. He's currently dealing with it. That can't be good. Killing usually is preferred solution. Captain receiving a transmission. Took them long enough, pass it through. The alliance is strength. Strength is peace. Have you obtained what you need, Captain? Battle has just ended. We'll start looking for the Windwalkers now. We expect nothing but success from you. War is going well in the North, but our resources are not infinite. The task force assigned to you is an invaluable asset. Lead us to the excess. Our beloved Galaxians will suffer for your ineptitude. Calm down, Boreas. Our captain knows very well what's at stake. Contact us when you have secured the Windwalkers. Strength is peace. The Alliance is strength. Send an assault team to the town. Find the Windwalkers at all costs. At your command. Yeah, I'm just like leaving on an airship. Leaving on an airship. Don't know when I'll be back. Yeah. Mom, what's going on? Right now, I need you to focus. There's an escape route toward the wind walls. It's marked with beacons. If you lose sight, follow me. Now go, we must be quick. The lions won't be able to follow us inside the wind walls. They'll crush us. Edmund and Fred spent many hours modifying and reinforcing the Windwalker's air jets. Remember that your scout used to be your dad's. It's already saved me once on my way back. This time it'll save you. When I get to the next save point, I'm gonna call it for the night. I don't want this video to be too long. Does the attack have something to do with the expeditions? Your father and I made a mistake. It's time I mend, make amends and fix it. I, the explanation will have to wait, son. Other people can hear our radio. There's gotta be more to it, like, you... They're, they're searching for your family, right? They mentioned something about a nexus. So did you find something? Or do they think you can lead them somewhere? Why are they attacking us? Watch out, Glenn. They've spotted us. A lot of ships. The big one has lots of health. Let's try the small ones first to knock him out. Ah. 
Ow, my ship does not have much health. Listen up, team. Maybe I've I should evade. Piercing dark damage. I can make them confused. That's cool. Can I do it to the Let's big go. one? Nice. So does that mean he's going to attack his own bros? I think so. This is the plan. Let's see if we can knock this that guy out. Take this. Nice. One down. I think they're still fighting each other. Windwalker here. I've got this. Let's go. That son of a bitch here. Listen up, team. Maybe I should go for the big guy. He's still, he's still confused. So I'm thinking, like, he's going to keep shooting the other one. Maybe uh, kill it for us. Missed. Yeah, that one's almost dead. I should just... The only thing is, when I take it out, is he going to start attacking me? Is like, why well, I'm reluctant Let's go. to kill it. Oh, I don't. I think the confusion the wore plan. off, so I guess it doesn't matter anymore. All right, just the big guy left. I've got it. This is where I wish you had like a fast forward button, like when the outcome is pretty much like clear. I wish you could just like auto, like some, some RPGs have like auto battlers where you're just like, I know I'm going to win this one. I don't really care to micromanage it. Keep going. Are these giving me anything? I'm pretty impressed with this so far, though. I mean, like, I haven't run into any bugs, like some of the reviews were saying. You know, it's not a AAA game, obviously, but uh, it, it feels, you know, like a, a Dreamcast RPG brought back to life. Edmund and I, we press pass. We aren't supposed to be involved. Mom? Does she cross pass with, did, did she say the Dark Harmony? Was that what it said? Here they come again. Oh, I gotta do another encounter like that. This is the plan. It's less health this time though. I've got this. Let's go. Is that like a healing Johnson. ship? Alright, he's confused. I wonder if I could confuse all three of them and just make them fight each other. Wait, wasn't he confused? Why'd he still attack me? Windwalker here! 
burned. This is the plan. I'm gonna try it. We all have a dark side. Yes, they're still attacking each other. Listen up, team. What's leverage? I've got this. And we're gonna. Con oh, I don't have the energy for it. Damn it. Stay sharp. Let's go. Stop attacking me. Stop repairing, you jackass. Windwalker here. I've got it. Let's go. That guy's evading. Which I think gives you, like, the SP to do moves, but also maybe lets you avoid damage. I'm not 100%. Let's go. Got that one guy healed. Alright, we gotta kill the one that's... Take one of them out, at least. Oh my god, stop healing. I feel like that's the one that's healing. Let's go. This is where like that fast forwarding would be really appreciative. Damn it! Devil's hand. Oh, I got slowed. Listen up, team. Confirm. We can do. <laughs> All right, I can kill it. Right. Thirty health left. God damn it. Oh, I did kill it. I thought I was going to have like two health left. I think this video is going close to an hour already. I did intend it, but I'm definitely enjoying it. Woo! I wouldn't have played this long if I wasn't. We're getting closer. Let's go. I don't want another round of fighting. I just want to get to the end here. I do... I, I think... If the encounters are too frequent... And it's just like going from one area to another, like that could get frustrating. So I'm kind of curious as you progress, like how frequent the battles are, how, like, are they randomized? Is it always set locations? That sort of thing. squad how about we just leave that's too many ships all right listen up team 
gonna burn some shit. But maybe if I take out the boss. This is the plan. This is firepower. It's burning. Nice. And he's confused, right? Time. Now he's confused, okay. Sometimes I have trouble, like, telling which ship is which. Nice, he took out one of his own buddies. Is this confused still? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, he is confused. I'll take out the lower health guy. Let's go. Nice. Wait, we're we're totally winning this. Wait, no, we're we're about to win this. Don't follow me. Mom, we can make this. This is the plan. Let's go. We got the one guy confused. We can do it, Glenn. This is the plan. Let's go. I'm convinced we're going to win this. How come my attack doesn't seem to be going through? Stay sharp. This is the plan. Follow me. Let's go. Ever face the true Galaxia. Ow. We can do it, Glenn. Like, it's not even letting this me, uh... Attack with the other guy. Was I supposed to do something? Oh, he's knocked out. I didn't realize that. Let's go. I didn't realize. Now he's back. Okay. Now we're gonna kick this guy's butt. Windwalker, I've got you. Oh, but the sun is almost dead again. Listen up, team. You evade. Oh. You attack. This is the plan. The mom is getting tore up here, though. This is the plan. I've got this. This is firepower. Should have probably healed, but he's almost dead. Ah! I must have had to do that. Escape toward the wind walls now. And don't look back. Not you, Mom. Promise me you won't go search from here, but Dad, what are you talking about? Promise me. I knew it, Dad's alive. Come on, we're almost there, you can do it. Mom? No, you don't dare hurt her. Turn around, you stupid air jet, please. No. He 
you just found out your dad's alive and you're gonna lose your mom. And she never get to explain why she was moody all those three years. Captain, we have finished the search. We couldn't find them. The town elders say the Windwalkers escaped. What about the airship? It's full of pilot cadets. The tribe swears the Windwalkers were not on board. Has Leonard returned? He entered the hangar moments ago. Bring him here. Did someone call? Mr. Rye from fighting. Captain Draco to you. Shut up. What happened to the air jets? I did my best. As for your orders, but the transport pilot is very good. You shot it down. I had no choice. It was me or her. The scout fled toward the wind wall. It's as good as dead. Have you forgotten why you were here? What if those were wind walkers? You rather have me kill them? What a silly question. That's the problem we need to confirm. The scout pilots might still be alive. I hope that's true or we're finished. Here to immediately report if they cross paths. Cannot fail. I think I'm going to end it here. Assuming I'm going to be at a spot with the save point here. That was lengthy. A lengthy battle. Leave her alone. Quick escape. Mom? Yes. Oh my head, what just happened? Mom, she was shot down. I have to go back for her. I don't recognize this place. How in the world did I end up here? My urgent must have bounced. That Leonard, if he killed her, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. The lions will pay for what they did. The others, Minerva said they escaped in the valley, and I have to find them. Kind of feels like, um, this is like a weird deep cut, uh, Diddy Kong racing, you know, like the flying sections. That sound effect reminds me so much of AO and the Messenger, like when your friends would go offline. I kind of almost wish this had real-time combat instead of turn-based combat, like have all the RPG trappings, the characters, the items, the experience, but just let me shoot stuff in like real time. I, I kind of feel like that would be an improvement. Just because there's not a lot of games that do that. How did you escape? She took me through a hidden route. We tried to use the wind walls. That's insane. It worked, but she... What? No. I saw her craft falling, engulfed in smoke and flames. I just can't believe it. She wanted to talk. She wanted to tell me about the expedition. But the alliance did give her time. I'm so angry. And there's a save point. We're going to end it here. What's this? One more video? Uh, I'm definitely enjoying this. If you uh, have a fondness for, you know, old school uh, RPGs, you know, Skies of Arcadia, I think is the most direct influence. Um, you know, like old Dreamcast, GameCube era kind of JRPGs. Uh, this this might be something to check out uh, I played about the first hour here definitely enjoying my time with it and uh, plan to check out more I do want to see if this will run on the Steam Deck it doesn't look like it's probably too graphically demanding uh, but I haven't tested it out yet but uh, I think this would be a fun Steam Deck time waster oh excuse me uh, but I'm going to end the video here uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing please check out some other content if you like it like, subscribe, drop me a comment with any thoughts, and uh, have a good night, everybody.